Hey guys, and welcome back so soon. Crazy, right? I know. I'm probably as shocked as you are. So, I am bringing you, like I said, another Pillsbury edition. And I think I said on yesterday's video it was going to be a pizza, or maybe I didn't. I don't know. But as you can see, it's not. I was going to do this one yesterday, but I didn't take out another pound of ground beef, so whoops. So I'm doing it today, so I hope you're excited about that. And spoiler alert, this series does contain some breakfast items. Right? Am I right? Anyway, so like always guys and dolls, we are going to head over over here. One day it's going to get more exciting, I promise you. I don't know how, but it will. Anyway, we're going to head over here, check it out, see what we got, and we're going to get into this. Jumbo Burger Cup. How jumbo? We'll see. Oh. Okay, starting off to our left, as usual, we have a our muffin cupcake tin. I'll get used to calling it a muffin tin, I promise. Then, obviously, start of the show, our Pillsbury Grand's Southern Homestyle Butter Tasting Biscuits. <laughs> Back there, we have our egg with water. I kept it um, the furthest away from the heat because I just got done finished browning the meat. So, obviously, I don't want it to cook. Back there, we have our pickle relish. Our ketchup, mustard, cream cheese, yes, cream cheese. A little odd, I know, right? I don't know. Just following the rules, people. My brush. Now, it's not to brush muffin tin. Nope. It's used for the egg wash for the top. Four. These little guys. Some seeds. <laughs> then we have our onion powder. Or onion powder, people. Then we have our S&P. Or salt and pepper. And then our one and a half or a little over <laughs> brown ground beef so now that it's all brown and i did that because obviously you know i don't want to stand here and have you guys watch me brown the ground beef because bleh, duh, boring. <laughs> now i have that done i'm gonna stick it back on the heat and then bring it boozy to the next step Okay, so now that our meat is reheated, well, essentially, because it was already hot, we are, guys, literally, this is it. We are gonna add everything in there. We are going to add our ketchup, our mustard, our cream cheese, our pickle relish, our onion powder, if I didn't already say that, we are gonna add all of it. All of it to our ground beef, and we are going to cook all of this together for five minutes until everything is all married together. And we're going to stir occasionally until the cream cheese is melted and creamy and all of it's good and beautiful. I don't know why I decided to come French with every video, you guys. I don't know. Well, I do know. We are majority French Canadian, so there we go. <laughs> well, well, on my mom's side, yes, that's what we are. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. Literally, just clean everything, baby spatula, crevasses. We all know the drill. So everything in, make it all oil and gooey and beautiful. Again, as far as I don't know what the deal is. Tired. <clears throat> and I'm enjoying this because it's giving me a break from the baking. I know it's odd for me to say that, right? I know. But I just did a ton of baking because we had family come in from out of town from Pennsylvania. Um, my awesome sister-in-law came in from out of town. And my oldest niece, Genesis, and her friend Athena came. And um, like with anything, I... Anyone who comes from out of town, obviously, I always immediately ask, what do you guys want? So, uh, my sister-in-law wanted an orange creamsicle cake, so I made her that, 
And then my niece wanted um, a New York style cheesecake. So I made her that. Um, and I made a giant chocolate chip cookie cake for both, for everyone. And so I did a lot of baking <laughs> in the span of three days. So I'm a little baked out. So this is really nice for me to get to do these. Pan, uh-uh. I didn't tell you to move. What the hell? I hate this pan. It is lopsided. And it sucks because it's my re-drumming pan. Oh, so, whatever. So yeah, I decided to do a little more cooking than baking, which is odd for me to say. This has been nice. But, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying them too. Anyways, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to stuff all of this in all at once. Just plop in the cream cheese. And if, I know, some of you are probably going to realize that no, that is, what the? Damn it. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah. It is probably not the true pickle relish that you will all know and love because I did not have pickle relish um, so I just finally diced uh, the pickles that I had so yeah oh my god does it smell like a cheeseburger <laughs> okay getting smoky so yes I'm gonna mix all this and then we shall be back you guys real quick I know it's loud I'm sorry but I had to tell you guys that it smells like Burger King in here if you make only one thing and you love burgers or you love Burger King, you have to make this. All right, so we've got our meat mixture that smells like Burger King heaven sitting up to the side. It says keep the mixture on low while you're doing this dough. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Turn it off, set it off the heat. No point in that. So, what we're supposed to do is take our beautifully buttery biscuits. Look at all that. Isn't that gorgeous? And we're supposed to cut these in half with a serrated knife. You see how thin this shit is? What do you think I am? You think I'm handy with the knife? You think I'm not dumb enough to cut myself? Uh -huh. You don't know me. Anyway, so as you can see over here, we have the same setup as we did before because they want us to press it out to four inches. So being that, obviously, I got the pencil mark on my counter because I'm a dumbass. Aha, uh -huh, I got smart this time. Put a tiny one underneath it. <laughs> Fool me once. Okay, twice, damn it. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so I got my cutting board and I'm going to try cut this butthole that now has a piece of the outer thing on it. What the sh where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Oh, hi. In half. How is that gonna go? I guess you make one pass. Okay, let's see here. See? Okay, make one pass, you guys. Don't go back and forth. Okay? Do it once. Go around. There we go. Okay. I got it. Maybe. We'll see. See if this works. Because one's going to be the bottom and one's going to be the top. As if they couldn't give us a biscuit that already had a bottom and top. Right? Am I right? I'm probably right. I think it's working. How much time is this going to fucking take me? Damn it. Well, that's not going to come out even. Alright, let's see how I did. There's one. There's one. Oh! I did it! Take me a million years. Gotta separate all eight like that. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'll be back in five hours. <laughs> okay, dokie. Didn't take me that long, y'all. Ah. We're back. And 
and I don't have any cuts, I don't think. I don't know. You might. I don't know. It's okay. So, here we go. We are going to pop down, sprinkle it in a little flower. And, like usual, we are going to pop down our first one. This is going to be our bottom bun. Press it out. Press it out. Press it out. Kind of like you're a pizza. That's what I think when I'm doing this. Like I got to work at a pizza shop or something. I always wanted to put oh. oh my god, you guys. I know. Say a prayer for me. <laughs> or save it. Save it. Save it for you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it a little bit larger actually because what we're going to have to do is make it come up and over and it's going to have to touch the top one. So that's why I'm kind of making it a little bit bigger. Okay. And then, remember, dip your fingers in it too. Because we're going to press it in. And then we're going to work it up. And it always will stick to you. So make sure it doesn't stick to you. Just dip your fingers in the flour. So we can press it up. And it'll be thin. Don't worry about making it pretty or perfect or any of that stupid bull crap because it ain't gonna matter, y'all. It's gonna come out beautiful anyway. And it's just going in your stomach, so there you go. Okay, so we're just gonna make it come up. So I think I'm gonna do all the bottoms first. And then we'll fill. I'll come back and then we're gonna fill them. So yeah. There we go, number one. Okay, so we have our bottom buns. Now we are going to evenly distribute our meat mixture. So, like as always, I am going to fill and then go back and overfill. Ha 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 ha. No, I'm kind of torn. I'm asking my question. They didn't put any cheese, no shredded cheese, no sliced cheese maybe on the top so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I really want to to be honest with you you know to make it I know there's cream cheese in here um but I don't know something in me says just put a little slice of cheese on it because you should so I don't know but I'm gonna fill these and then we'll come back and we'll do the top bun portion so now that they are a little over full, <laughs> now we are going to stretch out the other halves of our top, our top buns, and we're going to lay them on top, and we are going to meet the edges. And we are just going to pinch them together. I don't know why I pinched it. I was thinking of a, oh, what is that? Um, you know, Asian, when you do the pasta, that thing, thank you. Yes, that's what I was, I don't know why I immediately did that, but <laughs> I'll make it look like it's supposed to. This dough is very forgiving, so you can shape it and mold it however you want. So if something rips or tears or anything like that, don't even worry about it. It will come together, you know, so don't even worry. It's all good. And I know this kind of looks like a turd right now or a sea monster. It's all right. I ain't worry about it. <laughs> so I'm going to go around and top the rest of them, and uh, then we'll be back to show you the next up before they go in the oven. Okay, I want to bring you guys in for the last one I'm doing here because I kind of found something I want to share with you in case you guys make this and it not be as time consuming and or frustrating for you. When you're doing the tops, you're supposed to mash them together and whatnot. So, if you want to, I'm just saying this is probably the easiest thing that you're going to find. 
to do this, what I am doing, I'm going to call a, a lift and tuck. That's what I'm calling it, actually. So, I am lifting the edges, which are not all going to be as even as you see. I am lifting the ones that I can, lifting them up like this, whatever ones you can. Doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. Getting your top, and then with your finger, tuck it down. Go around, and the edges that you can't, just tuck it down anyway. Go around and keep just pushing and tucking. Pushing and tucking down. And then when you come to the end of where you're going to be tucking, just keep tucking because it'll tuck no matter if there's filling or what and then when you're done just go around with your finger and tuck 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 boop, boop, poke poke and tuck go around and tuck like that look at that beautiful as opposed to asshole the first one all right then you got those so okay now that those are done and all in their glory now we are going to pay our attention to our egg wash give it a mixy mixy we got our egg wash and our sesame seeds now we are going to reach for our paper. There it is. Okay. Grab our brush that we only use for our baking and our cooking. Okay. We are going to go over the tops and brush them. And, and we are going to sprinkle our sesame seeds on the top of them. And then we're going to bake these for 15 to 20 minutes until the tops are golden brown. And no, I didn't put any cheese in the, on the top of them. I figured I would just stay with this. I added enough in there, you know. So, it is what it is. So, like I was saying, 15 to 20 minutes until the tops are golden brown. And then we're going to cool in the pan for 5 minutes. And then we will plop them out. And we will see how luxurious and beautiful these babies <coughs> turned out. Give a little sprinkling with the sesame seeds. Make it look like a Burger King Whopper because that's what it smelled like. I'll finish the rest and then we'll be back when these guys are done. Okay, here they are guys out of the oven, golden brown. I'm going to zoom you guys in because I did not cut into one this time. So I'm going to scoot you in. Bear with me. Hang on. Scoot you this one. Okay. Hang on. Cut them open. Ooh. Crispy. Or sunflower seeds are gonna go everywhere. Yeah, they're overboard. God damn it. Okay, move these guys back. Oh, holy night. Can let me talk about the money shot. Money, money, money. Shit, I get paid a million bucks for this crap. Instagram, pay me some shit. Come on. Somebody let them know what I'm doing over here. Hang on, guys. Look that. No, it's glory. Is that not some shit? Look how soft and doughy the top bun is. And that's because I didn't press the top buns down as much as they said to. I said, no, I'm not going to. So if you don't, and you want it to be that thick and fluffy, don't press them down that much. There's no need to. But look at that, guys. I mean, come on now. Oh, Stunning, right? OK, 
okay, okay. So, before we get to the end of this, I would like to get the opinion of my trusted husband. Honey, what did you think? I thought they were delicious. As always, of course, duh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, so, they were basically like a burger bomb. That's what it reminds me of. It's just like a little, little, little hamburger stuffed inside a little sleeping bag almost. <laughs> <laughs> now, you tried the ones I made last night. How would you mm -hmm. compare this one to that one? Well, see, I, I don't, I don't look at it as comparison because it's, it's like two different Two different things, like you you did pasta, you right? Did, one was pasta ish, right. and this one's like fast food ish. So you got a sit down restaurant and you got drive through. So, well, I'm asking only because you love pasta and you love burgers. So, well, I love them both. You're right, and I love them both. Okay, and what do you feel about like? Sh do you think it would have been a good idea to add the piece of cheese? Do you think that would have added? I, I think if you're a, if you if you like if you typically get cheese on a on a burger, if you don't get a hamburger and you get a cheeseburger at a drive-through, then put cheese on it. I like cheese. I like the I, I liked it without cheese, but should I put bacon in there too? You know the nice thing about the about this style uh, this series what you're doing is that you could do pretty much anything you wanted to do and I would have a hard time believing that no matter what you picked it would turn out good. That's me. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, not just you, anybody else that wants to make it, I find it I would find it hard to believe that no matter what you put in them, I'm sure it would turn out good. Do you hear that, you guys? Just make them and he'll eat them. So, if you want to make them, send them, okay? <laughs> well, I got my, I got, I got my table full here, <laughs> just me and you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so, good, I'm glad you liked them. Yeah, yeah but it's, de it's definitely a go. That, Two that, thumbs up. Those are fun. Those are definitely fun. So, awesome. Well, thank you, babe. You're welcome. I always enjoy your two cents. Bird tripping. <laughs> okay guys so I hope you really enjoyed another one I really enjoyed this one and I'm gonna wait until I think the end of these to rate them well I mean as far as the recipe and the cooking part will go and then you know whatever <laughs> that's how I can you know what I mean I'm on um but I did want to give a couple shout outs because it's the first time I get to give some shout outs. Holla at your girl. Yes, I'm going to holla at two girlfriends. One, the first, I hope I'm not going to butcher any of your names. Um, the first is going to be Tanya Varen. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, in the last video, I said a subscriber had made my last one, which was the cheesy barbecue cups. And it was Tanya who made those for her and her family, and she said they enjoyed them. So thank you, Tanya, for making those. That really made my heart happy. You were the first one to say that you have made any of my recipes, so I really wanted to give a moment to thank you for doing that. And I really hope you make many more. And let me know. So thank you, sweetheart, so much. And thank you. And the other one was to, <clears throat> I really, really hope I do not put your, your name, honey. Um, I want to say Maud Lebowski. I really hope I pronounced that right, sweetheart. Um, she commented on a couple of videos ago, and she asked um, if I had ever made a video explaining my tattoos or the means behind them, and if I had... Um, intended to do one in the future. So, Maud, my love, I did a poll on Instagram on both my personal and uh, my Maker Bagot, and I got a yes, I should do one. So, Maud, my love, you shall look for that in the future. The near future, actually. I will be doing, <coughs> sorry, dry. 
a video on all of my tattoos, which I have many, and the meanings behind them. So you can look for that. And if you have any sort of feelings behind people with tattoos or don't like them or people with them, <laughs> you can scoot your boot because <laughs> I am one and you don't like them, you don't like me and sucks for you. <laughs> so that's how I feel about that. But anyway, so thank you ladies for your love, your support and I love you and all of you and your continued support and your love as well. As always, please view it before you do it because I will always show you tips and tricks on what to do. And speaking of, I would, I should have listened to myself, I would have a little piece of cheese on them. So I think I would have added to it. So if you do it, do it. Okay? And from my kitchen to all of yours across the world. Mm -hmm.